welcome students today we are going to start uh, the next chapter that is your tense uh, so your ninth chapter is only present tense so i would request all of you to take a screenshot of the page that you are getting right now just take a quick screenshot and uh, do not forget to write it in your copy okay this is the chart of the tense uh here we have your present tense your past and your future tense okay uh simple present this is your simple present simple past simple future continuous present continuous past continuous future perfect present perfect past perfect future perfect continuous present perfect continuous past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous to so take a quick screenshot of this page okay i hope uh, this one minute is enough for you and i'm just uh, transferring it i'm just removing it okay guys so now come to your present tense uh so basically tense indicates the time of action and the state of being in the past present or future okay time of action means whether it is your uh, uh continuum present past future and state of being means a kind of uh, your groupings okay simple or a continuous and a progressive manner or it has already been completed or is going to be started so present tense indicates that something is happening or being now past tense indicates happened in the past future tense indicates something will happen in future and we have four groups four forms that is simple means indefinite simple can also be called as indefinite tense continuous perfect and perfect continuous okay simple present tense simple present tense is used for showing an habitual action for example uh, something that is a habit so before starting uh, with this uh, habitual action where to use what uh, just let me say you that the format is v or v plus es or s v v plus s or es okay means if your verb is grow sorry if your verb is grow it will transform in it will be grow or it will be grows if your verb is dance it will change into dance it will remain dance as it is or it will change into dances if it your verb is do it will remain do or it will change into do plus es now your question begins where to use verb where to use verb plus s for this just one thing first person that is i we second person you you third person he she it and they. this is singular this is plural so uh, not this wait this entire portion this entire box will take v form okay only this single one will take v plus s or es form means i can say the plant sorry plant when it is singular plant grows plants grow they dance he dances okay so it will just be this first person second person third person plural will take v form of verb and this will take v plus s form clear so where what are the uses of simple present tense the uses of simple present tense are very simple first for showing habitual action then for expressing an universal truth for expressing an action that takes place at present or at the time of speaking garima plays in the garden means which happens regularly or is right now in the point at the present time okay 
Next, for showing a future event that is already planned. That is already planned. Means it is going to happen. Means I am talking in present. I am talking about in, in present. The Olympic Games begin next month. The Olympic Games begin next month. Okay. For indicating professional activities, rituals or dislikes. I hope it is visible for you guys. Okay. Uh, just one sec. Hmm. For indicating professional activities, rituals, likes or dislikes, Bengalis celebrate Durga Puja with great favor. Great fervor, okay. Uh, Hindus celebrate the Shera with great fervor. Uh, Christians celebrate Christmas with uh, great fervor. Okay. Asana. And in Proverbs, a stitch in time saves nine. So see, Bengalis. So it is plural. We are using celebrate. Olympic Games. Plural. We are using begin. Means V form of verb. Garima. Singular. We are using V plus S form. See. Here it is singular. V plus S. Here it is plural. V. Here it is plural. V. Stitch. Singular. So V plus S. Okay. Now see. Next. We have this format of simple present tense, statement and question. I, we read, you do not read, they don't read or do not read. He, she reads, she does not read. This is your positive. Okay. This is for your negative. Right? How to use negative, how to use positive. Okay. This is your positive. This is your negative. Where to use do, where to use does not. See, here in uh, leave this this one he reads she reads but when i'm changing into negative it is becoming does not read reads becoming read because i'm using already one v plus s form this does is v plus s form so here i will be using only v form okay so today we will be doing up to this much and uh, in next class, we will be starting with your present continuous tense and present perfect and present perfect continuous. So, till then, revise this. See whether you have understood or not. In your next uh, online class, we will be dealing with all your doubts regarding tense. Uh, tense. Uh, till then, I will be presenting you with the videos of this complete chapter. Uh, so, please, please, I am asking you to request. Do keep your doubts ready. I will be there to answer this because tense is a chapter to understand. You cannot just mug it up. So do keep your doubts. If there is any doubt that you have if not understood any simple thing, single thing, just keep asking me. Okay. I will feel good to answer them. So till then, take care. Bye.